Good day calculus. Today we're going to do some unit circle review. That's the 1.4 section about trig functions. So they call it the unit circle because the radius is 1 and that's the unit number. So you've got a circle radius 1 and uh, you know you've got your uh, your you know the end point of the radius in question just kind of starts here and it spins anti-clockwise uh, from there because this is like zero degrees here this is 90 which is known as pi over 2 <coughs> okay, pi over 2 because remember that pi is 180 and so on I mean you've got uh, 3 pi over 2, which is uh, 270. And background again to 2 pi, which is going to be give you the same numbers as the 0. Anyhow, uh, to remind you here, you got this here. Now, they're going to uh, expect you to be able to calculate, without a calculator, some sines, cosines, tangents, cotangents, secants, cosecants. Uh, if uh, if the angle is related to 30 or 60 or 45. So I'm going to do a couple of examples here uh, just to remind you. Like if this was, let's say that this was uh, pi over 6, a.k.a. Uh, 30 degrees, okay? Then you know that the uh, that the shortest side, ah, 30, 60, 90. Okay, so 30, 60, 90, remembering this from basic geometry class, 30, 60, 90 triangle, pi over 6, uh, pi over 3, um, you had x, you had 2x, the hypotenuse was twice as long as the side across from the 30, and the remaining side, x radical 3. So we're going to use that here that if this is 1, this length over here has to be 1 half, and this length down here is whatever that was times the square root of 3. So square root of 3 over 2, because that's 1 half times the square root of 3. So how would I use that? Well, if I had to find the sine of uh, pi over 6, I would say, okay, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's one half over one, okay? Um, cosine pi over six is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's radical three over two. Tangent pi over six, oh, are we running out of space, oh dear. Tangent of pi over 6 is um, opposite over adjacent. So it's 1 half divided by radical 3 over 2. So that's going to be 1 half times the upside down of that, which is 2 over radical 3. All right, the 2's cancel, and I get 1 over radical 3 which we have to change by multiplying top and bottom by radical 3. Oh my goodness. So we get radical 3 over 3 for the tangent. Okay. Uh, coming over here where I've got a little bit of room, I can say that we can do um, uh, cotangent and secant and cosecant. I'm going to show you a little trick here. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and write it uh, right here. Cotangent, secant. Got to make it zoom out a little bit. All right, and cosecant. So if you don't remember this, these two are reciprocals of one another. So if this one was one half, then this one is two over one or two. 
These two are reciprocals of one another. If this was radical 3 over 2, then this is 2 over radical 3. Now we got to screw around with it like this. We get 2 radical 3 over 3. And these two are reciprocals of one another. So this one is just the flip upside down of that one. And um, as you recall, this one at one point was 1 over radical 3. So if I flip that upside down, I just get radical 3. And that's how these trig functions were born, boys and girls. Who knew, right? So if we do uh, this as an example, find the values of the six standard trig functions at, uh, what about pi equals 5 pi, I mean uh, theta equals 5 pi over 6. So the book in here ends up a little bit higher for you. There we go. So 5 pi over 6. Now, you remember pi is halfway around the circle. Well, 5 pi over 6 is all but pi over 6, meaning that this remaining angle here is 30. And the way that this thing is going to work is that it's going to kind of, uh, you know, it's going to work in from the, from, from the, from the 0 and the 180 side. Now I have to remember my Aztec, all are positive. Uh, in the first quadrant, sine is positive in the second, and um, Aztec, right? Tangent and cosine are positive there. So we have to do uh, my unit uh, circle here, I mean my unit triangle here with my 30, 60, 90. And that's going to be just like what I just did. This is one, so this is going to be a half, and this is uh, one half radical three. So radical three over two. Let me get this thing just way a bit. Okay. Uh, and so what I want to do here is I want to do the sine of 5 pi over 6. And I'm going to say, all right, that's opposite over hypotenuse. That's 1 half divided by 1. 1 half divided by 1 is 1 half. But the sine is positive, so we're good there. So it's 1 half. What about cosine of 5 pi over 6? Well, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, a way you can think of it, by the way, this whole Aztec thing, the reason why sine is positive, well, the 1 is always positive because it's the, the radius that sticks out from here. But um, this is positive because it's up, okay? And... This one, uh, which represents cosine, is going to be negative because it's left instead of right. Okay? And that's why down here, where they're, it's left and down, so they're both negative, but uh, the ratio of opposite and adjacent is going to make tangent. It's negative divided by a negative. That's why it's positive down there for tangent. Everything else is negative. Okay. Cosine. This over 1 but it's negative because it's not positive. So negative radical 3 over 2. Tan of 5 pi over 6 is uh, opposite over adjacent. So let's see, 1 half divided by this, which is 1 half times 2 over radical 3. Didn't we just do this? These guys cancel, you get 1 over radical 3, and so you get radical 3 over 3. Just did that one. And uh, cotangent 5 pi over 6 is the reciprocal of this one. So it's radical 3, we just did this. Uh, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Tangent is negative, so this one's going to be negative. This one's also going to be negative. Almost forgot that. Uh, secant is uh, 
the upside down of this guy, which is also negative. So you're going to get negative 2 over radical 3. Well, let's see. Do this. That's going to make negative 2 radical 3 over 3. Cosecant of 5 pi over 6 is the reciprocal of sine, so it's just 2 over 1. Sine was positive, so so is this. Oh, if I show you what I'm writing, huh? Okay, I wanted to go over that with you. Sorry about all the shadows, it's late at night. Uh, and I am also sorry that my video is two videos. I thought I could pause it, but I couldn't. When I hit stop recording, it just started a brand new one. So, my bad. All right, um, let's see. One more thing here. Yeah, all right, so let's do um, another one where we're going to find, let's see, if we know, let's say that we are given that sine of theta equals, um, let's say it's going to be 5 thirteenths. That sounds awful, but let's do it. Uh, 5 thirteenths, sine theta is 5 thirteenths, and we know that uh, theta is between 0 and uh, pi over 2. Okay, so pi over 2 is 90 degrees, so we're looking at the first quadrant here, and we want to find cosine and tangent. So we're going to find cosine of theta and tangent of theta. Okay, so if sine is, uh, let's draw our picture because we're in the first quadrant because this is, you know, 0 and pi over 2, right? So it's in here somewhere. So just slop that line up there somewhere like that and make the sine 5 thirteenths. Now this has to be 1. Now, sine from this angle is opposite over hippopotamus. So this would just be 5 thirteenths. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Uh, if I look at, if they're gonna, when they give you a problem like this, it's probably going to be a, uh, you know, a, uh, what do you call, uh, a Pythagorean triple, like 3, 4, 5, or 5, 12, 13, right? But it's not 13 because if I divide everything by 13 to make that one, you know, I divide by 13, I divide by 13, I divide by 13, to make this equal to 1, there you go. That's how this is 5 13 this is 12 13 right? So the cosine is just 12 13 because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is going to be 5 twelfths, because the 13s are going to cancel. Okay? You're going to have to be able to do a problem or two like that. Uh, then you're going to have to remember your reciprocals, definitely. All this stuff that I told you here, who's the reciprocal of what, okay? So uh, give this a try. It's just four problems, and I'll see you on the other side.